Think about money the same way you think about oxygen. Not having enough oxygen is dangerous and feels life-threatening. Having excess amounts of oxygen doesn't add that much to your quality of life. But the knowledge that it is abundant and unlimited in supply gives you peace of mind. You feel better knowing there is unlimited oxygen and you can breathe as deeply as you like, as often as you like, without worry. You can sleep soundly. You can do things you want without stress or strain because there is more than enough oxygen for everyone. Money is the same way. There is more than enough money for everyone. And it is all around us. Visualize the millions of digital transactions happening every second, passing through the air and through your body right now. Now open your heart and your mind to receive more of that which flows through you. This is the mindset I want you to have as you digest this chapter. Warning, some of the money handling techniques that I'm going to teach you will seem strange because they're not how most people handle money. But do you really want to model yourself after most people? Most people are broke, and I don't want you to be one of them. So do the opposite of what most people do. What is true financial wealth? I used to think that once you become a millionaire, you've made it. All of your money woes are gone forever and you live happily ever after. I couldn't have been more wrong. I know multimillionaires who are depressed and on the brink of bankruptcy. So what is true wealth then? In simplest terms, wealth is the ratio of your means to your wants and needs. For example, if Heather brings home $10,000 per month and her living expenses are only $5,000 every month, then Heather is wealthy because her ratio of income to expenses is two to one. In contrast, meet Sam. Let's say Sam brings home $100,000 per month, but his living expenses are $120,000 per month. This means Sam is really poor because he is operating at a deficit. Since Sam makes more money than Heather, on the surface, it looks like he is wealthier than she is. But actually, Heather is the wealthier of the two. Heather also probably sleeps better than Sam because he is likely racking up debt and interest to cover the additional $240,000 per year that it costs him to maintain his lifestyle after using up his earned income. With the added financial stress, Sam is likely stressed out, overweight, and looks older than his biological age. More on the physical impacts of stress in the next chapter.